You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. We present Best Seat in the House by Robin Ingram with Jeff Bainham, Tony Plumridge, Mari King and Robin Ingram. This is the Palace Theatre, Bavistock. Please leave a message after the tone. Thank you. Hi, a message for Phil Smith, the stage doorkeeper. Hi, Phil. This is Michael Johns of Bavistock and District FM Radio, just ringing to confirm our appointment this afternoon at 2.30. As I said in my letter, the interview shouldn't take long, and I'll be picking your brains for 40 years of memories as stage doorkeeper at the Palace Theatre, all in aid of your lovely theatre's 200th anniversary this very month. Look forward to meeting you, Phil. Bye. This is Michael Johns reporting on The Hoof as I turn off Bavistock High Street into Newlands Road, where the Palace Theatre towers in pride of place, as it has done for 200 years, this very building on this very spot. You couldn't begin to count the number of famous actors and variety artists who have performed on its stage during all those years, but we have to have a few anecdotes of some of them when I speak in person to Philip Smith, the stage doorkeeper keeper of the secrets of the famous who has been the door of the Palace Theatre for 40 years and more. Yes, that long. Now I'm at the stage door of the theatre. I make it exactly 2.30 by my Timex, so my timing's good at least. Can't wait to hear the voices of the past from Philip Smith. Well, there's no answer yet, so I'll just try... And yes, it's open, so I'll take a liberty and step inside. I'm now in the doorkeeper's lobby of the Palace Theatre, where the actors and artists enter each working day. I can see various notices and messages for the cast and crew, <laughs> including the inevitable health and safety notices. And here is what looks like an original poster advertising Sarah Bernhardt, the 19th century actress, as well known in her day as Judy Dench is now. Well, that certainly has the wow factor. Um, there doesn't seem to be any sign of the stage doorkeeper yet, but his little office is open and looks quite cosy. Uh, the theatre was extensively remodelled and modernised throughout in 2005, so this lobby looks quite ordinary in many ways, but through this very entrance, have passed many of the great names of the British theatre and music hall and comedy over the past 200 years, which, when you think about it, <laughs> is pretty mind-blowing, isn't it? I think I'll just take a little tour through the backstage area and try to track down Mr. Smith. He's the one I'm here for, after all. I'll just try here. Um, a passage. Lots of photographs along the wall. No light here, of course, but I can see well enough. Here's a flight of stairs going up and down. <clears throat> I'll try the downstairs. I hope you good folk of Bavistock are bearing with me as I walk through these famous corridors. Uh, what have we here? Here's a large door marked OP Stage Quiet Please. Now, I happen to know that OP stands for Opposite Prompt, and it means that we are on the right-hand side of the stage. There doesn't seem to be anybody about, nobody at all. So, I'll go through into the wings of this historic theatre. Just push the door a little. Yes, here we are. <laughs> but it's pitch dark. Really black. <laughs> I'll switch the recorder off for the moment. Is anybody there? Hello? Mr. Smith? It's Michael Johns. Hello? Oh, forget it. Where's the door? Where's the flaming door? Oh! <sighs> Anybody there? Hello? Look, I can't see a thing. Mr. Smith? Oh, for Pete's sake. Hello? Look, I could break my neck in here. 
How did you get in here? <laughs> Thank God you've got a lamp. I couldn't see a thing. I, I, I came through the stage door. Uh, there was no one there. What are you doing up on the stage? Go on, get out of it. My name is Michael Johns. I've got an appointment with... Uh, you see... Well, how did you get in here? Where have you come from? Through the stage door. There wasn't anybody there. I can't be in two places at once. I must have left the door off the latch again. So you are in fact Mr. Smith? <laughs> I thought so. But don't worry about it. It happens. I have an appointment with you, you see. <laughs> you probably didn't even get the message. I I'm so sorry, but as we're here now, look... Um, can I come down and join you? I feel a bit daft stuck up here. Well, come down if you want to. But nobody's allowed in here at all. Not until an hour before curtain up. Perhaps we could sit down and uh, talk, you know, an interview. Don't mind if I call you Phil, do you? I'm Michael. I don't mind sitting down for a bit. Flaming cold in here, of course. And dark. I have to carry this lamp everywhere. Oh, I sit here, you see. I always sit here before the show. Or sit down yourself if you want to. Thanks. Thanks very much. I'll just keep this microphone sort of pointing towards you, but I'll switch it off at any time you want to say anything off record, OK? What's that, baby? Oh, just a recorder, the smallest and most efficient on the market at the moment. Well, oh, flaming funny recorder. Who did you say your name was? <laughs> I'm Michael Johns of Baverstock and District FM Radio. <laughs> you can call me Mike, as I said. May I call you Phil? You can call me what you like, sir. Most of them do. Any name that takes their fancy. Nobody knows my name, see? I'm just the door to the boys and girls that perform you. That would really get up my nose. What's that you say, sir? Well, I mean, nobody knowing my name when I've worked here for years. <laughs> Sorry, I, I can't really concentrate. Do you think we could have some more lights on in here? <laughs> lights? <laughs> what, at half past two in the afternoon? <laughs> Whatever next. <laughs> well, guess, couldn't you turn a couple on? I can't really see you. Lamps are lit at seven when the show goes up at eight. Arthur arrives at quarter to seven on the dot and he lights the lamps. Only him. Oh, the management's very particular about that, you see. OK, Phil, fine. Hey, Phil, <laughs> you're doing all this very well. You're not an actor, are you? I mean, you're not being paid by equity. To do all this? 200th anniversary and all that? What's that you say? No, don't worry, it's fine. Great atmosphere. And I can see you perfectly well from your lamp, really. I had no idea the palace was like this inside. I mean, you've really made an effort, I can see that. The brass, the elaborate mouldings, the heavy curtains, the plush... It's just right for the coach parties. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but I'll have to go in a bit. I've got to brew me cocoa. It gets busy later when there's a show. Oh, you wouldn't believe it, but I'll tell you. I have to send Arthur round to the pub an hour before curtain up to get them out. You know, the boys, and even some of the ladies. Oh, they're all in there, lifting the elbow. Pints and pints sometimes they've drunk. Oh, they're all plastered, you see, sir. I don't mind telling you. That's what we've come to now. Not like the old days years ago. Oh, no. Yes, that's it, the old days. Now, Phil, you must have seen them all. Phil, Mr Smith, you've been stage door for, well, shall we say a long time? I believe you would have seen Tommy Trinder and and Bob Monkhouse uh, play here. Don't follow you, sir. What's that you say? And I know for a fact the original Crazy Gang did their final revival tour for one night here. They're all names to me, of course. But you will have met the entire Monty Python team. Uh, French and Saunders. And I think Ricky Gervais was here for a season. So, I mean, anything you remember? Any gossip at all? I know it was a long time ago. <laughs> oh, I don't remember them, sir. Maybe they was a little lower down the bill. Of course, I know what you want, all right. It's like a, a what's name, eh? An interview, like for the papers, am I right? Well, that sort of thing, yes. Uh, I always sit here, seat 29, third row from the front. I never see the show's mind, but I hear them all right. All the songs. Oh, this is the best seat in the house for me, for my memories. Yes, of course, go ahead. The boy I love is up. In the gallery, the boy I love is smiling down on me. You know that one? It was Miss Lloyd used to sing that long time ago now when she was just starting out. 
sweet and pretty she was then. I was a lad, just a lad, and she used to like to give me a kiss, like just a peck, before she went on. And she'd say, you're one in a million, Sam. And she'd give me a little squeeze, you know. She knew my name all right, though none of the others did. Sorry, did you say Sam? I thought... Uh, d- don't worry. You're not by any chance talking about Mary Lloyd. The Mary Lloyd. Oh, yes, she's the Mary Lloyd now. Oh, those days she was a slip of a girl, sweet and pretty as oh, I don't know what. Of course, some people say Mr. Roby's the funniest. Uh, uh George Roby? Georgie Porgy pudding and pie kissed the girls and made them cry. Wicked, oh, yes, but as for funny. Well, I never laughed so much in my life as at Mr. Lino. He was the one for me. There's one coming up now. He was here last season. What's watching? Real cheeky, though, with the ladies. Mr. Miller, he is. Nice lad, too. Call me Max, Sam, he says. Everyone does. See, he knows my name, too. He's the best of the bunch nowadays. I wouldn't give you tuppence for the rest of them. Are you all right, sir? No, I... No, I, I'm all right. It's so cold in here. I didn't think anywhere indoors could be as cold as this. Sorry, uh, go on. Mr. Jones? Mr. Jones? Somebody's calling me. It may be the manager. I, I suppose i better go. I won't be a minute. I'll just go and see what they want. I'll be back in a moment. Oh, bless you, sir. I won't go away. I'm enjoying our little chat. Well, I won't be long. I'll, I'll find my way back. See you. Ah, there you are. Couldn't find you anywhere. Knew you'd be punctual, though, which is what I like. It is Michael Johns, isn't it? Phil Smith, welcome to my little lobby. Here, you all right? Don't mind me saying, but you look terrible. Done in. You'd better sit down. Want a little tot of whiskey? You look like you could do with it. Is that clock right? What's the time? Yeah, that's right. Dead on half past two. But it can't. It can't be. Yeah. Now, have a little drink. Thanks. Thanks a lot. When you're ready, do you think we could get on with it? I've a lot to tell. I've made a few notes to jog my memory, like... uh... Sorry, just give me a minute. It's very cold in the auditorium and dark. But it's a lovely old theatre, I could see that. And Sam was very helpful, I I, I suppose. It wasn't really what I expected, but I think I could use a bit uh, with a little editing and... Sam? Who's Sam? Your colleague, the other stage doorman. There's nobody here called Sam, and I'm the only stage doorman, always have been. Who do you mean? I left him sitting in there in seat 29, I think, middle row. Uh, I'd better get back. I said I I would only be a minute. Yeah, I'll take you through. I'd like to meet this, Sam. Come on. Just a minute till I turn on the lights. Well, you can see there's nobody here. Where did you say he was sitting? But, no, this isn't the Palace Theatre. This is all... This is modern. This is... No! No! It was completely gutted and redone in 2005, but you knew that. No, no! No! Yeah, I think you'd better sit down and rest, Mr Johns. No! Come on, come and have a sit down. And a large whiskey, okay? Don't worry, I'll call somebody. Maybe a doctor, eh? Come on, mate. Sally, Sally dear. Come in here a minute, will you? What is it, Sam? I'm busy. Come in here a minute. There's a good girl. Oh, what is it now, Sam? Did you see a peculiar-looking bloke come out of here a minute ago? Carrying some sort of bag on his shoulder, like a gypsy. Nobody's come out of here at all, Sam. And I've been out there for ages. No, I thought as much. Do you know what, young Sally? What, Sam? I think I've been talking to a ghost. In Best Seat in the House, Jeff Bainham was Sam, Tony Plumridge was Michael Johns, Mari King was the girl and Sally, and Robin Ingram was Phil Smith.
The Boy I Love was performed by Emma Armstrong Hawkins. Artwork for the production was by Sheila Jackson. Technical production was by John Fryer. And the play was written and directed by Robin Ingram. Best Seat in the House is an audio production for Political Art. <laughs>